Hi, welcome to A&B Jukebox Repair, your one-stop source for road jukebox repair service and replacement parts. My name is Bruce Wentworth, and I want to welcome you to this session of You Can Do It. Um, today's session is going to be on installing a new type power supply board into, into a power supply. Um, a lot of the power supplies have the original power supply boards, and they're, they're fine. Um, they still work, and everything's good. But if you go to purchase a new power supply board, you will get the new type. And the new type is just a little bit different than the older type. And I'm going to explain to you what the differences are and also how to install the new type board. Because this is a, a little procedure you have to do whenever you upgrade your power supply board to the newer type from the older type. And we're going to cover this right now. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to show you the power supply boards. Um, these are the two older type power supply boards, okay? And this one here was the first one used in models R86. This was used in models R86, okay, up to probably R88. And then when, in R89, they went to this different style from R89 to R94. This was also used in the CD models, the first series of CD models, probably the first four different models, like the CD100, 100A, 100B, maybe 100C. Okay, then they went to a newer type board, this one here, for like probably the E, F, G on up. Okay, and this is the newer type board. And the difference from the new board to the older boards is this. The older board has four plugs. I'm going to show them to you. The plug on the left side, which is the incoming um, volt, incoming wiring. The internal plug here for the power supply board. And then you have two power transistor plugs. Okay, and the power transistor plugs, um, this is the power transistor assembly mounted on the outside of your power supply. And these two plugs here would go to these plugs right here, like that. Okay. I'm just going to put them in for you so you can see what it looks like when they're plugged in. That's what they look like when they're plugged in, but they're more like facing the other direction. Okay? These are the power transistors. On the newer type board, these are eliminated. So when you replace the newer type board into the older power supply, you'll see that all it has is two plugs. It doesn't have those power transistor plugs right here. So those wire plugs would be left hanging inside the power supply. You wouldn't use them, okay? But the only internal wiring plug you're going to use, the, the main wiring harness coming in is still the same. As you can see, same location, same pinout, everything is the same, okay? But this plug here, which is the main power plug inside, is now moved from the bottom center to the horizontal plug to a vertical plug on the side, the far side. Okay, so it's moved from the center to the side. Okay, so there's one little procedure you have to do in order to make this fit and work. Now these boards are interchangeable, okay? Um, the only thing is, this is newer technology. You're not gonna be using the power transistors anymore. It has its own regulators built in. And um, this is, it's, it's, a, it's a better board for CD jukeboxes, okay? Because it has more stable current. And if you're running a CD jukebox, it's better to use the newer type board. Um, if you're using a record jukebox, the older board's just fine, or work just fine in that jukebox. But a CD model jukebox, you should think about upgrading to this newer board. We do sell these boards, and we do exchange them. So if you think you might want to go to a newer style board, feel free to give us a call. We'll be happy to, to sell you one or exchange one for you. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to put this, install this board. Okay, um, we're going to go to the power supply. I'm just going to grab one more thing. Okay, we got it. Okay. Well, first of all, you always unplug your power supply or anything when you're going to work on it. You're going to have to remove it and take it and put it on the bench like this. I've already shown you in my uh, video sessions, I have one on how to remove a power supply. So if you need to know how to remove this power supply, just go to our video set, one of our video sessions and look at how to remove a power supply. Okay, so now there's only two screws that holds the power supply board in. It's these two here. Okay, so we're going to take the one out the bottom. And the one off the top. Just put them aside. Now, as you do that, I'm going to show you the view here a little bit from the side here. 
as we start taking this out, you'll see the three plugs. You see this one here? This is one of the power transistors. This is the other power transistor. Okay, and those you're not going to use. Now you have the main plug right here. Do you see that? That's the main power supply plug coming in from your transformer. So now you're going to unplug that. Now don't worry about misplugging this in wrong because it has what you call a lead-in peg. We call it a dead hole. It has a lead-in peg. Well, that lines up with the lead-in, the dead hole you have here. Okay, that's how you line up your power supply plug. And you can't plug it in the other, uh, reversing it. There's only one way you can plug it in. Okay, so just remember to line that dead hole with the dead peg. So we're going to put this aside now, and we're going to go to the newer board. This is the newer power supply board. Remember I told you that the main power supply plug on the old one in the center now has moved to the side. Well, if you look at this here, this plug doesn't have a lot of extension. It won't actually reach... Um, it won't reach over to this side a lot. What you have to do is we call it remove the chassis ground. Um, you don't need the chassis ground on the newer type board. It has its own grounds built in, into it, and um, you don't need it. The chassis ground is the one, two, three, four. This black wire in the middle. This is the chassis ground. And well, how to remove that? Okay, when you remove that, it's going to give it a lot more length. See, it's tight because the chassis ground is keeping it from being able to move farther. So what you're going to do is these flat um, slots on the bottom. Okay, these have what you call locking tabs. If you go to the one with the black with the black post, so it's one, two, three, four. You push down on the tab like that, and then the wire should slide right out. You see that? That's how you, now, this goes up higher. See how high it has now, as far as being able to move the plug around? So this one, you would just push down underneath, and you would only use it if you're going to go back to the older style board. For now, we're going to go to the newer style board, so we're not going to need it. You're also going to discontinue using these two here, upper transistors. You, you just leave those hanging. You're not going to need them anymore. Okay, so now we're going to plug in the newer board. Okay, and what you're going to do here is we're going to plug it in. Remember I told you how it inverts and it's over to the side now. So now it reaches. It reaches the board. All right. Then you're going to take the board and see the slots here in this opening here. You're going to take this and slide this in to the opening here like that. Then you're going to put it in and then you're going to go ahead and put the screws in. And when the chassis ground removed, you can still check your voltages on your pins, but you just check them a different way, and I'll show you how. Okay, so we got one in, and we're going to put this one in. Okay, here we go. Alright, so those are in. Okay, and now I'm going to turn it around so you can see the pins. The side plug is the same as before, alright? But if you say you want to check voltages outside the jukebox, well, we're going to plug it in now. Put the power on. You see the three lights? Okay, now, if you wanted to check the voltages on the power supply, some people, we put it on DC voltage on your multimeter. What happens is sometimes, we used to go like this. We used to use just put your ground up here you know, on the chassis, okay? Then you would check a voltage but you know we don't get a correct reading. So what you do now is the bottom two pins are grounds. You would take the prominent pro, put it on the bottom pin, then you throw the pop pin, and you look at the voltage, nine volts. It's critical on CD jukeboxes to have nine volts or, or, or more. You can't go below eight and a half. If you do, the CD player won't work properly. Okay, let's go to the second one, nine volts DC. Go to the third one, 28 DC. And the fourth pin is AC, so you want to make sure that when you go to the third and fourth, you don't touch the third pin. Just go to the fourth very carefully, and you'll see it's 28 volts, 29 volts AC. So that's how you check your voltages when you change, when you change your board. You use the bottom pin as your ground, chassis ground, and then you go and check your voltages, okay? That's all there is to it. So... That's how you replace an upgraded, a new type power supply board into a power supply that has the older type board, okay? Um, my name is Bruce Wentworth. It's been a pleasure having you for this session, and we hope you join us for future sessions. Goodbye.